I'm forever grinding. Waiting for my time to shine just like a diamond. Yeah. But life is rough and I ain't with that funny stuff. I use it all as motivation, but it's hard to have the patience. What's going on, everyone? Welcome back to my channel, Reviews with the Blonde, where I grab the hottest, highly anticipated newest snacks or drinks and are requested by all of you newly added food items from fast food restaurants. And then taste them, rate them, review them, let you know if you should eat or sleep, consume, or grab that broom. Today, we got the Snyder's Rounds Milk Chocolate Rounds. They are new. Honestly, I feel like they are new because I feel like they have actually been out for a couple of months. I was just never able to find them. I could be wrong, but I know Snyder's kind of been, you know, dibbling and dabbling and whatnot on here, you know, making some new things here and there. But I've been meaning to try these. Finally was able to find them in smaller bags. So we got them. Let's try them. Let's see what they're all about. Ooh. You definitely smell that chocolate. Smells pretty good. Smells pretty good. Here we are. Kind of look almost like a, what is it, Maltese chocolate? Maltese, Maltese, whatever they're called. Let's try them. So just to um, kind of specify or clarify, they're milk chocolate, milk chocolate covered pretzel balls. Interesting. So, first and foremost, I do like them. Then my expectations were a little bit different. Expanding on that, it's almost like you're biting into like a chocolatey wafer rather than like a chocolatey pretzel ball because you don't get like the same crunch as like a pretzel. It's almost like they, I guess, baked like a pretzel made into a ball and then covered in chocolate because it's so, it's almost so like it's softer than a pretzel. It's almost like a hollow wafer in a sense. Which they're good. You still get the chocolate, you still get the saltiness from the pretzel. Now it does similar taste or texture or crunch to uh, compared to like the Maltese. Is it Maltese or Maltese? Whatever they are, those candies, chocolate balls, very similar to that. Now one other thing that was, as to why I said it was interesting is if you ever, if you have ever had coffee crisp chocolate, the Canadian chocolate bars, it's weird because this kind of reminded me of those. Texture wise, also I felt like I was tasting some sort of coffee in there just a tad bit. I don't know if it's like a cocoa chocolate that they're using. Not that it's a bad thing, it's actually a good thing because those coffee crisp candies are actually good, or chocolate rather, they're actually good. So I do like these, I do enjoy them. I personally, I would not buy again. It wouldn't be like a go-to snack for me, but they are good. I would not sweep off the table. Rating, I'm gonna go with a 7.58 out of 10, so fairly up there. They're good, nice, easy snack, you know, not a mess, um, not, not like you're crunching down on a bunch of pretzels, I like them. If you've tried them, let me know what you thought about them. Leave a comment down below. If you are going to try them, let me know what you think about them. If you try them, leave a comment down below. As always, make sure you like, share, comment, and subscribe. Thank you for watching, everyone. Peace out.